As, as you probably know, I'm en route to Cardiff for a meeting of the British Irish Ministerial Council, a meeting that has been brought forward uh, as a result of the uh, Brexit uh, Leave vote. Uh, and obviously, th that event will be dominated by uh, the issue of uh, Brexit, uh, and I suppose that's understandable. But I think it would be a mistake for people to lose sight of the fact that there, there are other major issues facing all of us, not least the new uh, British government, uh, led by Theresa May, and now by James uh, Broganshire, the new Secretary of State. And uh, the other big issue, among others, is, uh, is the issue of legacy. And uh, I have been involved in quite a number of engagements with the British government over the course of particularly, I suppose, since the Fresh Start Agreement, to see if it is possible to put the last piece of the jigsaw in place in relation to legacy so that we are able to meet the needs of victims right across uh, our society. Uh, thus far, the, the British government uh, haven't shown any real inclination to uh, crunch down on that issue. Uh, I don't know if they intend to leave it until after the summer holidays, but I had told them in the spring that it would be much better if we could resolve it before the summer holidays. And I have, at every engagement that I and our other negotiators have been involved in, stressing that point with them. We also have the issue of uh, the request made by the Lord Chief uh, Justice, uh, where he uh, outlined both to victims' groups and to the political parties his plan to put in place uh, a process to deal with outstanding uh, inquests over a period of five years, which would probably cost something in the region of £5 million pounds each year over the five years. And uh, that money uh, has presently been held uh, as a result of the Fresh Start Agreement of £150 million pounds, uh, by the British Government. Uh, the Lord Chief Justice came and he met with both myself and the First Minister. He did so on the basis that if there was a, he felt that if there was a joint uh, letter sent to the British government from both of us to release that money, that it would be released. Now, unfortunately, that hasn't happened. Absolutely, I am in favour of it. But that hasn't happened. But that is certainly not an excuse for the British government not to release the funding that the Lord Chief Justice is requesting. So the question has to be asked. Who, who's blocking the Lord Chief Justice's request for a five-year programme to deal with outstanding uh, issues in relation to inquests? As things stand at the moment, uh, the principal culprit, in my opinion, is the British government. So I intend to raise these issues with uh, the new Secretary of State when I meet him uh, tomorrow morning. And I intend to raise uh, this issue also when I meet with uh, the British Prime Minister uh, next week uh, when she travels here to the north.